ICF Building Company is proud to introduce the Foothold ICF Foundation Footing System. In this video, we're going to demonstrate building a frost protected shallow foundation using Foothold ICF Foundation Footing System and Build Block ICF Wall System. Step 1 is constructing the foothold sections. Foothold forms are easy to build using 2 inch XPS foam found at any builder's supply and foothold ties. Cut the foam panels to one foot planks with a table saw or circular saw. Mark the planks on 22 inch centers to receive the foothold ties. Slide five foothold ties onto a pair of the planks and align them to the centers. We'll give more information about how to obtain the foothold ties later in the video. Once the ties are centered, attach them to the planks with three inch screws. And now you have an 8 foot foothold insulated form you can pick up with one hand. Now let's construct a foothold corner. Start with one of the 1 foot planks. Mark it at 5 feet. Cut the plank at a 45 degree angle, and now you have the two sections that make half of the corner. Slide three foothold ties over the two sections and attach as usual. Split a foothold tie in half and slide the halves over the long ends of the two corner sections. Link the ends of the split halves together and secure them with zip ties. Tape the outside and inside edges of the corner. This just helps make it easier to carry the corner forms around. On site, it's really rebar that'll hold the corner securely in place. And there's the corner. Preparing the trench is much the same as any foundation job. Add crushed stone to the bottom of the trench, level, add a vapor barrier, and lay out half inch rebar. Here's the trench for our two car garage project. Okay, now let's lay out the foothold footing. We'll lay out the foothold sections, lift the rebar into the foothold hooks, secure the rebar to the hooks, and add the top foam sections that complete the footing. Once the foothold forms are basically laid out, 
slide two and seven eighths inch foam planks into the brackets and the top of the foothold ties. Once the rebar is lifted into the hooks in the ties, zip tie all rebar splices and corners to the foothold ties. Here you can see the split foothold ties are both secured to the corner rebar with zip ties. It makes a strong corner. Now let's add the build block wall sections. On this particular job, we added a removable 2x8 wood form plank on top of the ICF forms so the above grade portion of the foundation would be exposed concrete and below grade would be stay in place ICF. Otherwise, ICF would extend above grade for true frost protection and receive a cement or acrylic parge coat. The final preparatory step is to true up and backfill the foundation. You can true and level the foundation with string lines or laser. Backfill with crushed stone to the top of the foothold footer. Okay, now it's time to pour the foundation. Pour the concrete at a five to six inch lump. Keep a steady pace and rod the mix to achieve a good consolidation. Finish the top of the float and add your anchor bolts. Here's how the foundation looks once the top has been floated and the anchor bolts are attached. Foundation drops at the door openings allow for the slab to extend to the outside edge. Here's the finished product with the slab poured, a frost protected shallow foundation simplified with foothold. 